What's up, boys and girls? It is White Gamer Seven here, and today we're gonna go over my pro club settings. We're gonna go over my camera settings, my controller settings. So let's get right into it. For the camera setting, I use the default camera. I think this is the best camera to use for pro clubs and maybe even ultimate team. But for pro clubs, I like this camera a lot because it's not too zoomed out or too zoomed in. It feels just right for me. So I use the pro club camera. And then, boys and girls, if you guys didn't know, this year there's a power shot zoom, which means every time you do the new power shot, um, it'll zoom in. If you didn't know, you can turn that off. I personally have it off. I don't like it, so um, I have it off. Throws off my game, I don't know. So I have the power shot zoom off. You can turn it off if you didn't know that. But yeah, those are the camera settings that I use. Now, for the visual, boys and girls, um, I have the input overlay if you didn't know you can have your controller on the upper right hand corner um, It's good for streaming or if you just want to have your controller up in the right upper hand corner So I have my controller there. That's how you turn it on you just put on input only and then connection monitoring that's to show your ping your ping is to indicate your connection quality um, it's good to have it, you know, um, doesn't hurt when you're playing ultimate team or pro clubs You know, you kind of want to know what ping you're at if you're at 10 or if you're at a high ping So this is what I have for my visual now for the audio um, We're just gonna talk about the player perk volume So if you didn't know every time the perk gets activated it makes a sound you can turn it off I have completely turned off because it's annoying the perk uh, sound effect. So I have it turned off so that is the audio, the camera, and the visual for my settings. Now let's go over to the controller settings. All right, now for the controller settings, um, for the competitive master switch, it automatically gets turned on. So when this is turned on, which it is every time you're playing pro clubs or ultimate team, you're gonna have all these like like this already. And then I have everything else pretty much uh, set to default. The clearance assist, I have it for directional. If you didn't know, if you do R, B, and B, or R1 and circle, when clearing the ball, you can actually aim it where you want it to go. So I have this on um, directional. I don't know what, what's the default. I don't know if this is default or not, but I have mine on directional. And then everything else, boys and girls, is uh, just default. Um, I don't touch anything else or nothing like that. And then for my actual control settings, I have it customized. Um, I don't tackle with the B button or the circle button, depending on which console you're playing. I tackle with my RB or R1 button. Um, I've been playing like this for since the beginning of FIFA, basically. I just find it way more convenient tackling with my right bumper or R1 over my B button. Just because um, whenever I go for a tackle, it's separated from my clearance button. Um, cause I know sometimes when I play with people, they say, oh, they meant to go for a, a clearance, but they actually went for a tackle. So I never have that issue. So this is what I have just for my defense. I tackle with my REB, but boys and girls, those were my settings. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I do de definitely think these are the best pro club settings. Of course you can use some of these for ultimate team, but this was mainly for pro clubs. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.